Meatloaf has passed away and the vocalist and actor leaves behind an incredible body of work. One of the centerpieces is his 1977 debut record, Bad Out of Hell, which was produced by Todd Rundgren, featuring an impressive group of players, including members of the E Street Band. While the album eventually went platinum many times over, thanks to the popularity of songs like the title track, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, and the iconic Paradise by the Dashboard Light, it was anything but an overnight success. In a 2013 conversation with UCR, Meatloaf noted that there were numerous factors involved in the eventual series of events that turned things around. Oh God, there were so many turning points. The, the video that Lou had, we, before, long before MTV, I had, 11, I had shot 11 videos before MTV ever came. Uh, there's Walter Yednikoff, president of the company, who believed in the record that was pushing the record company. There was Lou Adler yeah. that I gave him the video of Paradise and he put it as a trailer, a trailer to the Rocky Horror Show all over the country. Steve Popovich, who was mm -hmm. from Cleveland, who, you know, his fingers bled to the point he worked so hard. Then you've got my friends John Bellucci and Gilda Radner that lobbied Lauren Michaels for almost a whole year to get me on Saturday Night Live and finally, the week before the last two weeks, it is the second to last show in 78, got us on. So you got to go from Steinman, me, the band, Carla DeVito, CBS convention, Walter Yetnikov, Steve Popovich, Lou Adler, John Belushi, Gilda Radner, John Sykes, yeah. who eventually ran VH1, but was a college rep up in Buffalo and knew a DJ up in Buffalo named Sandy Beach. And, and because it had Sandy Beach and two out of three ain't bad as a lyric, got him to play it. Uh, so, you know, nobody, any artist who was sitting here and tell you they did it themselves is a flat out liar. Right. There were so many people involved. I mean, I'm, I'm missing people, you know, on, on a local level, people that would go and beat down radio, you know, and beat them up yeah. and, and stuff like that. So it's, you don't do anything by yourself, ever. That's the legendary Meatloaf. Find more stories regarding his life and legacy by clicking the link in this video's description. And make sure to subscribe to our UCR channel here on YouTube for all the best news and history of classic rock and pop culture.